A former champion has returned to WWE and what happened when AEW Collision went off the air. But first, a top AEW star has shut down rumours of a divided locker room. In this week's Wrestling Observer, Dave Meltzer would claim that a top name in AEW left Dynamite in a bad mood due to the return of CM Punk, describing the situation as a ticking time bomb that will not have a happy ending. This followed a recent Meltzer appearance on post wrestling where he claimed that the AEW locker room is divided calling it worse now than it's ever been. This is in contrast to a report from PW Insider that described the atmosphere at AEW Collision as positive with Andrade El Idolo noting that the locker room was amazing whilst Dax Harwood of FTR noted on Twitter that there was no divisiveness backstage at neither Collision or Dynamite this past week. Well Eddie Kingston has now added his name to the growing list of those opposed the idea that the locker room is divisive, this during an interview with the New York Post ahead of tonight's Forbidden Door pay-per-view. When discussing the return of CM Punk, Kingston would say, He did his return his way and that's the way he wanted to do it. I expected it. I knew it was happening, knowing Punk and what he thought was right for him. That's it. I see the reports, I see the clickbait on YouTube, but the locker room is not divided. Not the people I hang out with. Punk's gonna do what Punk does and if whatever Punk does, helps this company, no one can say anything. Kingston would then be asked if there's a feeling in the locker room that people have been bothered by Punk's recent comments, to which he would add, not me man, not my crew of people I hang out with. Maybe there's that 1% that are bothered, but the people I chill with, they're good, they don't care. As for what's next for Kingston, he is set to team up with the Elite's Young Bucks and Hangman Page as well as Tomohiro Ishii to battle Konosuke Takeshita, Shota Amino and the Blackpool Combat Club's John Moxley, Wheeler Yuta and Claudio Castagnoli with the Forbidden Door pay-per-view just hours away. And before we continue, do you want to get your hands on this weekend's Forbidden Door pay-per-view for just $19.99? Well, if you use the combination of our NordVPN and Fight affiliate links, you can do just that. That. First, NordVPN allows you to change the location of your device in order to access websites and services that you wouldn't be able to use in your country. And in this instance, a whole bunch of countries worldwide can access Forbidden Door on Fight for the aforementioned 1999, such as here in the United Kingdom. Although I would recommend using Lithuania, which appears to work better in my testing. Once you're connected, head over to our Fight affiliate link where you can see the pay-per-view for just that price. You'll also have access to the AEW Plus streaming service which costs just $6.99 a month and contains every episode of All Elite Wrestling Television on demand in one place. There is also a 7 day free trial if you just want to test it out. You can also watch Dynamite, Collision and Rampage live and at free. So be sure to head over to our NordVPN and Fight affiliate links in the description below, the perfect tag team for any wrestling fan. And speaking of the Forbidden Door, three more matches have been added to tonight's pre-show. At 7pm Eastern, the Forbidden Door Zero Hour will kick off proceedings in Toronto, Canada, a show that was previously announced to include a Women's Owen Hart Cup tournament match between Billy Starks and Athena. Well, on last night's episode of AEW Collision, it was confirmed that Stu Grayson of Dark Order is set to take on New Japan Pro Wrestling and Bullet Club star El Phantasmo in singles action. It was also confirmed that the Mogul Embassies Swerve Strickland, Brian Cage, Toa Leona and Bishop Korn will take on Chaos's Rocky Romero, Trent, El Desperado and Chuck Taylor. The fourth match on the pre-show will see an almost exclusively New Japan match take place with the United Empire's Jeff Cobb, Kyle Fletcher and TJP standing across the ring from LIJ's Hiromu Takahashi, Shingo Takagi and Bushi with Fletcher being the only competitor signed to an All Elite Wrestling contract. But will you be checking out tonight's Zero Hour show before Forbidden Door? Let me know in the comments down below. And next up is this stardom champion set to make their AEW debut. Earlier today, World Wonder Ring Stardom, the all-female sister promotion to New Japan Pro Wrestling, would hold their latest show, Sunshine, where Julia would team with Mai Sakurai and Thekla to defeat Mayu Iwatani, Hazuki and Kaguma in a cage match. After the match, Julia would speak into the camera to issue a challenge to current AEW star and reigning NJPW Strong Women's Champion Willow Nightingale and said, 
NJPW Strong has a show. I wanted to challenge myself. I want to go overseas. So here I declare New Japan, bring Julia to the Strong Show, call Willow Nightingale there. Interestingly, the call-out follows a recent tweet from Dark Puro Flosion, who revealed that Julia is interested in wrestling outside of Japan, with her now seemingly set to head to the United States. This tweet would then be followed by a response from Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful, who would reveal that AEW could be another stop that she takes, and he would write, AEW had indicated interest in using Julia in some capacity in the past when discussing stardom talent. This appearance could potentially happen as early as tonight, as during the post-show interviews, Julia would declare that she will open the forbidden door, although we now await to find out if she means the metaphorical forbidden door or the door to the pay-per-view itself. Next up, a former champion has returned to WWE. In late March, then WWE Women's Tag Team Champion Liv Morgan would suffer from a shoulder injury during a title defense alongside Raquel Rodriguez, who defeated Damage Control's Dakota Kai and Io Sky. Despite the win, the champions would be forced to vacate the belts due to the knock, with Morgan not being seen on television since. Well, according to reports coming from last night's WWE Live event in Monroe, Louisiana, Liv was active on the card with her and her tag team partner teaming up against now WWE undisputed women's tag team champions Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, with them falling short in their attempt to win the titles back. The news ends her more than one month absence from a WWE ring, and it's perhaps a sign that she will soon return to television in the days and weeks ahead. And next, let's find out what happened in the arena after last night's episode of AEW Collision. In the main event of last night's AEW Saturday Night Show, CM Punk would make his first non-Chicago AEW appearance since his return when he teamed with Ricky Starks and AEW Tag Team Champions FTR to take on Bullet Club Gold's Jay White and Juice Robinson, as well as former AEW Tag Champions Colton and Austin Gunn. After the match that saw Punk and crew on the losing side of the affair when Starks was pinned by Switchblade, the show would close with the four men stood on the ramp. However, after the show went off the air, Punk, FTR and Starks would return to the ring, where CM Punk cut a heel promo on the Toronto crowd, this after receiving a mixed reaction on the night. Punk, who is a known Chicago Blackhawks fan, would take a shot at the Maple Leafs, further riling up those that were booing him, and he would say, I'll make this short and sweet. As the team captain, I take full responsibility for the loss, but I want you all to know, even though I lose sometimes, I'm gonna keep coming back and fighting, just like your Toronto Maple Leafs. The promo and crowd reaction as a whole shows that Punk will be forced to lean into his heel side from time to time, something I'm sure he'll have no issue with tonight at Forbidden Door and in the weeks and months ahead. And before you go, make sure you check out my predictions for Forbidden Door 2023.